seems like I can't get to you. Thought I was good. Yo, what's going on guys, Seen here in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Uh, so to start off, I have just marked my beats here. So I have where the bow shoots, I have the two beats, and I have the impact. So I'm going to be showing you how to make, you know, just a normal clip into what you have just seen on screen. Uh, so I'm going to start off by just going to uh, where the bow shoots. I'm going to sync that up, first of all, with the clip. Obviously, you have your own beats and your own timing, so keep that in mind. You won't be doing exactly what I'm doing, but just make sure that everything is synced up nice and good for you. Uh, so just go to where the bow shoots and uh, right here, just, you know, sync it up to this. Uh, then just go ahead and drag that back. And now that we have that synced up, we go to our video effects tab and we search for Twixter. Uh, now, obviously, you'll need Twixter for this, so keep that in mind. Uh, and yeah, just go ahead and uh, keyframe the speed on the uh, on the bow sh where the bow shoots. Go about halfway to the first beat and set the speed to 20. Uh, I forgot to keyframe here, but this needs to be on 100, and that needs to be on 20. So after that, it just slows down, uh, just like that. So what we need to do is we need to go to the impact, and we need to go six frames back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just go and keyframe the 20, go to the impact and set it to 300 or whatever you need to actually make these numbers show up. After that, just go 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and set it to 50. Now, once you've done this, you can go on pre-render to make sure everything is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, but once you've done that, uh, just go ahead and actually render this out completely. So if you have other uh, layers, just go ahead and press on the X right here and just mark everything. Or you need to press the S rather. Uh, and just make sure to uh, to have everything marked and then just go ahead and render it out. So I'm going to do tutorial Twixter. And the reason for this is because if we don't do this, then the uh, th you can't really apply any of the beat shakes. Uh, so that is our general goal for this. I will be right back when this render is done and we'll get started with the, uh, the rest of the tutorial. All right, once the render is done, you can just go ahead and delete these. Just go ahead and drag the Twixter in. Actually, don't do that. Uh, just go ahead and press U here and delete the video track and go ahead and drag in the new video. Go ahead and delete all this audio and just drag it in like that. Hold control of both of them and press G on your keyboard. And this is going to group them back together. And just like that, it's like nothing happened. Uh, but if we just go ahead and play this back, we should be able to see that uh, it's working sort of well. Just like that. So now what we need to do is just go ahead and split the uh, the thing just right here uh, and on the impact as well. Obviously, we don't need to keep the velocity in mind at all because, you know, we've already done that. Uh, so in the description you will find a link to this beat shake that I have right here. It will be, um, where the fuck is it? Hold on, let me find it real quick. It's, where the fuck is it? Right, heavy beat shake, there we go. Fucking hell. That's what it's gonna sound, or look like, and then you just go and paste these event values on all of these, and then like that. And just like that, we can just go ahead and go to the last thing and we can just add, I don't know, like an, any impact really, best tilt impact, sure. And we go and add that. And this is just Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, hold on. And just go ahead and add any impact really to the end. And sure. Yeah, that, but, you know, I didn't have any presets prepared, so just go ahead and add your own to those, I guess. For the beat shake, the only thing that's actually important is that you have uh, a lot of the uh, the blur. So, I would actually recommend you use Dissolve Shake for this if you don't already have a preset ready for this. Uh, just go ahead and search up Dissolve Shake, just like that. Just go ahead and apply the default, and just go ahead and delete all of the X Shake and the Tilt Shake. Uh, and then just use Y shake and drag up the mobile length to like max. And as you can see, this is quite nice. We just go and do that, go like 15 frames forward and then we just drag it to zero. Like that, sort of. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and download the presets in the description if you want to use the ones that I just saw. And if you have your own, you can just go and do that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you didn't know, if you like, down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.